The man has to take moral anti-reals in the view that objective moral values don't exist, but the Bitcoin that's an ethical disagreement that's choice. I'm saying there's enormous variation of moral views, the best explanation is that moral judgment reflect the different ways of life. This is a better explanation than how often that there's a moral objective moral facts, which some cultures have appeared at the time act as the example of monogamy is really plausible. One culture enjoys access to moral facts regarding the marital witness, where the other uh, lacks access uh, to uh, asserting that some property has intrinsic ethical values, so that's vision. For any X is good, and X then X things are good, will be a tautology, a clinic, X things are X are good, things are good. Only contrast and salvage ethics people can be very to uh, contention obligations, they agree to channel their desires to do so, establish that. Moral agreement is harvested, right wrong to follow the sky. The principles of moral sort of agreement, you say the price two dollars, I reach my pocket book. I agree to do certain thing for you, provide that you do something for me. Our commitment agreement involves occasional attention. I'll do X deal. Why do I deal? Or if I do X, or agreement, your, your agreement would create an obligation for you. Thus, standards consistent with contract prefer one. Contract is the mo only motivational ethical theory. I can decide not to be a utilitarian whenever I feel like I can be better off, but I can't do that with the contract. Since the reason I feel obligated to rule my end is that I know I'll get something in return, so I waste more. I can provide that leadership. It's not motivational. Say you want to do something, it means that you have some reason to act a certain way, which isn't the case if you can just ignore ethics. You, every other firm procedure that the mind. Different people have different conceptions of what the correct action is under usual terms, continuism, etc. The only way we can clear the outline what you are actually obligated to do is by explicitly binding you to certain rules. Otherwise, you could be a usual and think of pleasure results from robbery, which doesn't really do much a advocacy. Justice requires countries in the Schengen zone to have open borders with each other for human migration. It requires to find by dictionary.com to call for or exact is obligatory or ordained. Thus, you can be required to do something you're currently doing, since just because you're currently taking the action doesn't mean you're no longer called to do it. E.g., you are required to wear a seatbelt while driving, even if you're currently wearing a seatbelt. Here's a counter solve the advocate can roll up uh, the 27. 26 Schengen countries, if you want to find like where he talks about it. Contention one, uh, the members of the Schengen area mutually agreed in the uh, agreement to open their borders. Uh, part also specifies which borders that depend on the Google uh, The EU is the, the best known region of the world where borders are completely open between countries that signed the Schengen Agreement in 1985. No passport visas and border inspections are required anymore to any eight countries, including all EU countries except Ireland and UK and Iceland, Norway, and Switzerland, to have signed the Schengen Agreement. This is back to my favorite because these countries have signed an agreement to have open borders, which means justice requires them to do so. Uh, justice is derived from contracts. And then do border restrictions infringe on people's ability to fulfill contracts is frequent in Volvo 20. Two people who often have to form relationships and contracts across borders. So suppose that Sandra wants to hire John and John would like to work with Sandra, but Sandra's girlfriend forbids John from immigrating immigration restrictions and interfere with Sandra and John's conceptual relationship and immigration restrictions prevent citizens, citizens and foreigners from associating with one another on their freely chosen terms. This is back to my cover because immigration restrictions interfere with the mutual restraint, i.e. Uh, borders that prevent people from upholding their contracts, which is a more wrong point of view. Well, first off, the role of value is open to debate or links to uh, to a topical contention level offense depending on what the AC is, I think contextual offense related to the AC, to the winning norm of uh, ethical framework, the furthest equal condition of the event of the LD was designed as opposed to other events. I would have things like framework proved by the fact that if it was my AC, it would be like Utah and C would vote for whoever has the most offensive winning framework, even if no one would have a role of the ballot, which also means my model's most predictable. We point is I feel like we shouldn't talk about laws being uh, normally compared to ethical theories, which also controls controlling to critiques, because uh, we uh, know your theory of power is true, it doesn't do us anything, if we don't actually get to interrogate it, and compare it to different ethical theories, and every uh, round C point is uh, ground under my model, you can read whatever it affects you want because you I just have to justify an ethical theory that relates to it. That's also a uniquely valuable skill because it means that you get to talk about not only what impacts are cool, but why you think they're cool and uh, the honesty proper. One, yes, RBI is on T. A, the negative, has both T and theory, while I only have theory, which means that I should get the RBI idea. So both sides have two rounds. You want a theory debate. B point normally T shells determine what apps on the topic will look like, which means if it's a topical, uh, a topical apps one against bad T shells, we'll have better rounds since apps won't be scared of the bad apps. These will put common T shells to the C. T shells take longer to respond to since I have to win both the pragmatic and semantic player against them, which means I need an RBI direct by the time to T. T shells are bi directional. I, you can have uh, different definitions of the same words ready to be, always be able to read T against every app, which means I need an RBI to prevent the neck from just spamming seven minutes of T shells around the one. They are two, I get a yes, one, or three. Anything else means that I would be a police officer, which I have ways because it makes it so I can't check any of their uh, abuse. One year, three to drop the video because the one year is too short to my both subs and uh, the theory and the investment of time in a short uh, speech only to get rid of one argument would have the NTV abuse if no one gets on one year, three because then you could just sit on the shelf for six minutes, give it to each other. The reasonability of arbitrary and required judge intervention B has brought by the no, bright lines of light shit. The bright lines just by any abuse of practice three reject out around a violation. Worst case scenario, these are reasons that you should give me the RBI if I beat back or around violation because they're structurally ahead on them. One point, non verifiable. They're because just uh, put things in the speech shock and it takes me sort of a uh, if you have time to go find a screenshot of why I don't violate the shell, then we can't actually verify it because it occurred outside of the round two point regress. So there's infinite things that I didn't do outside of the round that would have been marginally good. I have people who call reasons with my wiki that would have been cool, but that's not a reason I just ought to lose the round. It would always be able to read a truly true shell about uh, sort of my wiki or things like that, which means that I would want to lose three points that is out of my control. You don't know what was happening outside of the round. I had to uh, deal with Kyle, uh, which means that I couldn't respond to the uh, shells. That, or, sorry, not, I couldn't respond to your emails, etc. You don't know the sort of uh, what happened outside of the round, which means it's arbitrary to hold people accountable for a four point jurisdiction. The judge is hired for uniquely this round and sort of 
all needed for this round, which means it would be arbitrary for them to evaluate like my practice in other rounds before the round, etc. Which means they do not have the jurisdiction to vote <laughs> on pattern violations. All else, we uniquely new apps are good. A one point is just rats you, and the all things negative and simply from the third, they have the app protect in a uh, framework because they know sort of what will, uh, like what arguments will uniquely link in. They can just uh, that helps uniquely big school advantage because they have more coaches who can help them put a bunch of cards, etc. Which that way because of smart, uh, small school advantage trust with student activity, they can't access your model. Uh, two points is uh, innovation. Uh, eight points is that students be valuable for uh, for a new field last week, right? Because we have to do actual research and right? uh, different frameworks that are cool and unique uh, for rid of which is a valuable educational practice. The point means it solves because uh, it solves your uh, abuse because it's a LAC and so far as you just have to read sort of analytic trends, etc. But also solve other T shells against why my app is bad. Three point you feel negative when after I told you the app was new, which means that it's obviously not that abusive because I don't get the way the argument is because if you truly thought that your three shell was true, you wouldn't have uh, flip negative. Uh, also reject uh, picks against all runs affirmatively because, or uh, don't get the margins and spices means a condition for seven minutes and I wouldn't be able to respond with four minutes and I can't read a six minutes of spike in the AC, but uh, the reject uh, picks on a whole resolution app, because, or no, never mind. Uh, reject console conference because there's infinite of those that they could say that we should get sold, which means I'm always short to the behind it so far as they can just read like infinite, uh, like groups or something that the front would never have to but the negative front on their specific front. Uh, yeah, open the Okay, uh, cool. Okay, now, uh, any like, <coughs> offensive reasons or like independent reasons for the affirmative? Oh, yeah, there's offer reasons at all, right? Oh, what about like any like theory shells? Uh, no, I was just, I, I like reject a console kind of. Yeah, yeah I call, call like the reject like defensive stuff. Was there any? Yeah, like, so, no, well, I mean, there's like, the, yes, RBIs on certain arguments. Yeah, yeah, I call that's, that. yeah, there's no like, uh, like. RBIs on T is only if I read T, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's go through like the, the new aspect. Can you explain strats here? Yeah, the argument is that if uh, I have to disclose the affirmative, it means that, well, there's two internal links, but A point is that, just distract you, but A point is that the negative will always be able to insulate from the affirmative and drown out the one error. B point is it's uniquely good for big schools because they have more coaches who can help them do that sort of drown out, which uh, outweighs because if small tools are especially excluded, it means I can't access benefits of your model in the first place. Okay, cool. Um, I guess. Can you explain like the first piece of contention about this? Yeah, the argument is just that the Schengen uh, countries have signed a contract to open their borders, which means that contracts obligate them to open their borders. Okay. Um, I guess the context, how is it like implemented? Is it just like people can move like from Schengen countries between each other or Yeah. Okay. Like like the Schengen zone is already open. Okay. So cool. that's fine. Um that's fine. Uh I guess and do they need like any sort of documentation to be required for entry or no. just like so there's no, there's no board checks in the Schengen. Okay. Uh, that's fine then. And, and between countries, like people from like, uh, what's, that, what's the EU countries, like France, <coughs> don't have to provide like, um, they, they don't need like the visas that like people can accomplish. And the app is about internal to Schengen. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess the, yeah, so let's talk about the, Framework proper, can you explain the joys argument? Or is there an exclusive anywhere at the end? Well, what? No. Okay. It's a silly argument. I no, see, like, there's no. Yeah. I see joys. It's just like kind of a really it's a, I think it's. He's summarizing Mackie stuff, though. Uh -huh. I guess he's in an arts in an argument. Yeah, the argument says that, like, anti realism is true, meaning that there's no intrinsic or a priori ethical facts that you can look to, but instead it can contingently be mode. Like, we have to create ethics because they don't initially exist, so basically, the like, assumption there. And the reason that contracts are able to solve is that we can have that motivation to be like, Okay, I didn't initially have an obligation to like, you know, I don't know, give somebody two dollars, right? But I can say I ought to give them two dollars if I get something in return. Uh or in the same way that, like if I sign a contract, because then you are like obligated you can say that you're obligated to do with him, which means that we're create ethics where they didn't previously exist. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um the role of valid mm -hmm. um I guess this theory functions as legitimate under your role of valid. I'm not gonna use the role of to exclude theory. Because okay. like theory is not a, like a role of battery. Like like obviously if you were a theory shell, it wouldn't substantially negate. But like I'm not gonna say ha ha. Uh -huh. No theory. Uh, that's cool. Based on role of Yeah. <coughs> um. And then... Yeah. The. Can you explain the, the second argument for reasons for every other term to really collapses? Yeah. The argument is just that like even if you know abstractly like what a firm fix is good, if we're not if we cannot like. In actual situations, have like a way of binding me to that, or like making me know what would actually do that, it means that I can't actually be like a good utilitarian, good content, etc. Okay.
so let's close the door. Two forty five. Case will be the underview, then the framework. Yeah. Um, but before that, there's like two overviews that you should probably flow in like separate sheets. Thank you. 
Jesus without having to be the past for peace and the poor has been the wrong legal organization that could show the first law of people to be a legally sound state of the condition to really enter the country to the very good conditions that exist in the existing board control laws and reject the rules of the United Nations to enter the state of the freedom of persecution and to violate each of the Schengen's own requirements and the other groups that the second violation is they just specify the border of the Schengen court which is that all legal people between the other Schengen countries can move between each other that's cross-examination which is fighting the current standards while living single and while teaching words and exposed to talking to the Senate and high school jurors refugees and those who reside in each of the people from other countries etc. Each which required to count the Indian system to get shut this course of the national transitionary approach to order of all these people grounded and underground schools down to the process of the radiation system from planet after body and personal violence system in its recent like periods of condition countries that are necessarily summoned to themselves and does like precision always even the original topics march really more correctly than they did or to the justice system words of the resolution of the room which I think they can be reached because the absence of the military which is H.O.M. fatalities that will be our coastal and all the period which is above and yeah the next up the procedural moral is that are more interested in existing and that the agreed work of procedural is one in surgery arts, and accessible to which allows people to say they don't experience the same. There are other like universally applied all ages to natural state, the resources of the not the not the 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 the Thank you. 
this influence is in our engagement because it's part of your journey on Twitch. We are in fact sessions part around the new aspect of the engagement. It's going to be in Vermont. Some of this engagement is going to be able to contest the environment. It means that we would never be able to, we never be able to like actually have some good positions in the first place. Also, frontlining is just uniquely good because the fact that we get to test the environment of the big school stuff is much worse than the big school breaks the new app. It's the fact that the, the, the small school has literally no path to go against, which means that we need to solve it and take all of their office. Generics definitely don't solve it. Just lots of machine debates. The big schools would definitely be able to just cook the generics because the fact that they have way better methods. Do new research for new frameworks. No, you can just send me the planets and the standard text. You'll still do your research that solves all the abuse and solves the use of the No, we still don't know your philosophy and have no proofs. We don't know your generic and your esoteric theory in the first place. You say that I flipped an egg, but there's one is that you did this because you assumed you would send the planets and framework, which is why I asked after this, like, check the, uh, the, check the screenshots. The framework proper, top level, your framework definitely just by statutory rate. Either I eat either, either the question of consent and so the sort of minor would consent to have a simple enforce whether it within a major or they wouldn't have because there's a like, power imbalance, but every sort of culture has some form of power imbalance because they're never on equal footing with you said your framework. Always can have everything which is your current view of the field, so you can use a contract to stop using contracts. Okay. Uh, Rick Yeah, one second. Need some water. Okay. If I want to associate with someone, is it a violation of my freedom to let them associate with me? If you want to associate with someone? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not a violation of freedom. No. no, okay, cool. Is it bad to break promises under con? Uh, we would say so, yeah. Okay, but... cool, gotcha. Um, oh, you said the silly argument about NC. Were there any other silly arguments like that in the NC? <coughs> I don't know what NC is a silly argument. So you know what silly arguments are. I don't think Okay, are there any other, like, tricks or operators like that? I mean, you made, like, permissibility tricks, but I think that was, like, the... Okay, what, what did you make triggers on? Uh, so we just made, like, two, like, generic triggers. Or, like, two reasons for rejecting your framework. One, the statutory rate objection, and then the... You can use a contract to stop using contracts in your framework in this game. Okay. But, like, con doesn't trigger permissibility? Uh, I mean, I have not triggered it for the one. Let me see. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Let's go to this chain that requires national identity cards. Why does this mean? Why does this mean that national oh, identity cards? Did I tell you which cards I skipped? I don't care. It's a little bit. Um, the argument about national identity cards. Why does it? Where does it say that you have to show them at the border to get into another chain? Oh, uh, well, it just says they exist. Your argument is that Schengen like countries should only be able to move between each other, which is why we're saying that specification of borders violates. That's a conditional border. It's not like fully open. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, because it specifies migrants or something. Yeah, like you're specifying like only countries in Schengen can move between each other. That's what you said in cross X. The argument is that their borders between each other should be open. Like, what if you kind of next to it? France and. No, I asked so you, Cossacks, can people, in, is it only people in Schengen to move between each other's countries? And you said, yeah. Oh. Um, let's see. <clears throat> okay, cool. Then, then uh, what was the responses to, oh, your argument was just that this teach, this disclosure tells specific to the round, so it's not regressive or something? No, it's that disclosure constrains in-round engagement, so it should be a question of the round. Also, like, it's part of pre-round prep time. So it is okay. part of it. How can we verify that the screenshot's real? Um, I mean, if you could provide a counter screenshot. I, I also said I'm willing to like, stake the round on this. Like, I don't I know if each works. of the judges on my computer, they can hit refresh as many times as they want. But how do you know, check the email off of your how wiki. Do we, how do we know that your computer is real? And that, that's my... Like, how do we know? This is like, just like, how do we know anything is real? <laughs> what was, I mean, true. But what's the response to jurisdiction? <laughs> uh, jurisdiction, let me see. Uh, this one. Yeah, the argument was, oh yeah, it was just that this is part of the judge's jurisdiction because it's part of the round. How is my conduct outside of the round part of the round? Oh, we said that it constrained, well, one pre-round is okay, like part so of like, the round, second... Before the tournament, I ate a bunch of junk food, so then I debated worse. That affects the round. Can the judges now condemn me for eating junk food? Um, I, mean, I don't think judges care about your eating habits. Okay, it's like, they, if I bring a fairness violation or like piece of fairness offense that you have done from something like during my pre-round prep, then yeah, that's awesome. You eat junk food, like, I'm not like, going to object to that you debate that. I don't know if you would be mad if your opponent debated that. That would be, that would be interesting. Okay. Uh, the, the NC prop, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, I will take Ryan Krebs, sorry.
Wait, if I, like, extempt an interp, do I have to, like, disclose what I think the interp was on the wiki for your first shell? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, like, what if I forgot? I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to remember, every time I accept a shell, I have to remember word for word what the exact shell is. Or I just lie. You, like, don't even give us summaries. You say five shells. Because I extempt them. <laughs> You don't even remember the general crux of no, the really Well, you said summaries don't solve. Yeah, they don't, but like you're, you have like nothing on there. Like there's like no way in which you can like shift down. Okay. Stopping point 138. Where's going to be the content seat and then the difference? Oh, there is one part which I'm the same. <coughs> yeah, the order of the content seat and then their shells in order. Are you touching the other deal though? Not like extensions. Like, there might be extensions on certain shells, but off the time. Just... So, no, there's not like section marks to go there. So, content C in my shell. Different? Different. Oh, uh, wait. I think it's a random one. Uh, that's not the card. Start from the content, so I'll keep my framework. Content is a true framework, but you've conceded my deductions, which means extend the first intention and internal link to props breaking, because you can see the fact that Shanghai countries have a uh, promise to open their borders, which means that if they uh, do the negative and don't open their borders, then if it's a violation of uh, props breaking, you can see cross exit that always, which I always, because we both agree that it's a violation of uh, content B point is a uh, true result of breaking promises, because the props have no grounding in the first place. Also, you can see the second intention, which indicates that it's a violation of individual freedom to not be able to move across uh, borders. I uh, would encourage on your freedom to like uh, marry somebody from a different country if you could move to that country easily or hire somebody from a different country, etc. Always. Because of the link, you just go and see that argument on your arguments proper. You agree and cross that if you uh, agree with the thing, that it means that it's not a violation of your freedom association. My app is the squo, which means that it's not a violation of your freedom association. I, uh, Chang'an countries want their borders to be open, which means that they choose to associate with whoever is let in, which solves all of your offense and means that it works with your mind always on strength of link. They, they shouldn't trigger, for, oh, they're permissibly triggering on my comp, my contract 60, but I'm kicking that. I'm agree with comp, which you'd have made an argument that comp triggers a uh, principle. They don't let them make their own firm trigger because that's weird. And it means that the uh, negative would always just be able to randomly trigger it when you shift out of actual condition base on your NC shell property. Uh, yeah, just not done. Disclosure counter interpretation, I don't have to disclose uh, theory and interpretation fully. A point is critical thinking. It's good for you to be able to think about what the standards might have been and just respond to them uniquely. Uh, B point is uh, under my, your model, you can gently front line every single specific enter I have or go for a tricky I means, etc. Which is uniquely bad. It means you can get away with any theoretical abuse which links with your argument but norming. A point is all but just good debating. I the critical thinking arguments all because if we can think critically, it means we can check up bad theory shells in other rounds as well, which I was a match to, or I mean portability. The predictability argument turn is that you either meet the shell, in which case it's not an issue, or you're going to contest it anyways, which means you should be able to respond to it critically on your feet. If you cannot respond to like the extension first and mutual, it means it doesn't make any sense. Also, uh, B point, uh, fine actually. Also, I meet, I accept all the shells uh, uniquely here. Uh, normally, it's a misdisclosure, which is even worse because that means the will just put random interpret they didn't read on the wiki, which is bad. Also, there's no way of verifying that they didn't do that, which means your norm always just explodes and it says terrible norms with plain your norms. 
study arguments your second shell counter tradition all the the violations here take critical heat you should be able to think on your feet critically to respond to do affirmative uh, as because the event ability was designed to sort of be creative and just think about what uh, the answers to have so across by what critical things uniquely good solved all theoretical abuse viewpoint as it link turns or clash working because it means you can just think critically against my burden and make smart analytical responses viewpoint uniquely true in fact that's contrast because you can just make like analytical responses about why like the second contention isn't true or why the first contention is an open border or link turns or things like that viewpoint is that flexibility you can see the argument that uh, under your model you can just like the actual only response was that that they're always going to, like that's good or whatever but the affirmative is always directly behind me because they have the form it's response to seven this isn't sort of only this isn't just like affirming smart to just uh, give me like the path on the counter trip or rather uh, why the unique abuse story is the reason that uh, you should err affirmative because then I can always just infinitely drown out the happy false argument doesn't make any sense because big school is breaking new uh, either uh, lose uh, well we'll just lose to other big schools who are responding to it and I'm not a big school which means that it's all back on those arguments here uh, clash argument a point is that generics are good especially in field base because we should have more primary base especially since they should be off the dome and not sort of pre-written because it means that maybe it's just going to blitz through a bunch of analytics which is hard for everyone to evaluate it also be one in circular speeds but that you should have had that time prior about the affirmative in the first place which isn't actually an argument also uh, sorry real quick extend the argument for my underview that uh, I, there was definitely regressive disclosure interrupts i.e. you could just say like oh you have to include uh, like x uh, think about your theory interrupts and like y thing etc which you need to treat your first shell is a question about norming in other rounds which is not the specific round also the burden's argument is true of you asking because I didn't see your email and I had no way of going against it also uh, their in-round abuse argument doesn't make any sense because you can say that literally everything, even if it has a mini school risk, but that jurisdiction argument misses a vote because the question is the judge's jurisdiction clearly doesn't have the ability to vote on uh, these sort of uh, shells, which I wish because even if it's a more pragmatic, you literally can't go on the third shell. I mean, the Schengen area doesn't have internal border checks. My app depends on borders between Schengen safety app is independent entrance to the Schengen zone itself, which is the only time visas apply. Also, visas aren't at borders internally. The EU no data that any uh, person in respect of nationality can travel between Schengen countries without going through border checks. The uh, visa enables non EU visitors to make transit to the Schengen area. If you're clear to enter one Schengen country, you can travel to other Schengen countries without having to show your travel documents. Also, in cross said, no, the people in the Schengen zone can travel between not like Schengeners on the limit argument to determine is that it's more limited because they count for each other the violation if I defend 25 of those countries means you're always going to have things like more generics and Schengen is most horrible which means that I should uniquely be able to defend this affirmative and cross by like the I mean is also a reason that this is like responsible. Uh, shoot, it was like Things from the underview extended were like just a couple of the reasons that Slow Shot about it was jurisdiction and burdens and uh jurisdiction it's like the regress. Regress. Yeah. Regress. Yeah. Wait, well, Uniquely the regress argument is probably for shelves, it's like, oh you don't have theory interest, which means other debaters other debaters won't be deterred, but like I don't care. Wait, wait, so so regress like your email jurisdiction, right? What what about the email? You said they didn't see your email. It was like an argument I can't control if I saw your email. Like if I yeah, I didn't also did not see your email. In truth.
was response to norming, or it was just a norming term, right? There was, uh, yeah, uh, I wrote the term, I wrote the word term, but no arguments, so I didn't think of what it was. There was also, yeah, I think it was just the term, there were like two different lengths of the term. Okay. First show, uh, yeah. Okay. That's it, no worries. Okay. <coughs> there will be some answers from your, your, some of your answers on the second show that will be. Okay, but like, that's, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Part, oh, wait, are there any part? Uh, okay, good. Card is too much. Alright, uh, Except the one to give you a shot the record, the inner drone is the highest level round piece, what is the problem with the shot of sufficient again? Make it everything just by reason. The only reason to have their defense for arguments for why you should protect everyone by lace. Should they be taken out because all these are also defensive reasons for why my shot of the reasons for why like, the, all these are just defensive reasons for why my, my shot of the sufficient doesn't matter. Extending your degree to disclose all the inner drone to clarify some reasons to solve it. Definitely violate the screenshots of here's a framing issue. The only response that they have on the violation is just to the fact that they, they, they have a good they can read my email. But guess what? Look at the screenshot. I literally said, can you disclose Rob's Are there any opposite interests in the app? He responded to that and just only responded to disclosing that there definitely is a violation. You saw my email is supposed to admit me for that one part. They definitely do violate that takes out all their options. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the norm standard definitely always. It's not gonna be showing that there's no person north that your norm can spread to other people, which means I know it's gonna be it's very unique that you can serve because people would never know to like actually meet your normal person, which means there's no way for them to be able to be able to follow that normal person or be able to robustly test it. No, it's which means that everyone sort of always just sprung and gets it sprung on them in and round it definitely kills testing in the first place, which is much worse than a normal basic norm. I definitely always once it's your purpose of theory, but it's taking this that it's always a on scope because once we set a norm that affects everyone. Else in the round. That definitely comes first. I wonder, did you anyway? You should prefer to an our way over to our way one because these arguments actually get responded to. I need to have the response to the two Two and our never gets tested, but then we don't have the three and our answer to the two our way. These arguments are longer developed because I have six minutes, so I have, there's a higher threshold for warning, whereas the two and our is going to be super blippy and super uh, weird about it, which means that you should definitely err error negative. Also, reject the two our way since these arguments just can't be tested in the first place. They have the sufficient time in the one error because of the fact that they're only in more large and just part of the theory. They should have just done some, some way. Also, you should prefer to have the other norm is its own independent voter because of the fact that it's a constitution from the theory, which means that it's all their offense, which is it should come first. And I'll just do the line by line. Their only argument is this term. They say that you can front line every intro and get away with any abuse. But no, this is just wrong. It's better for Norway because we would have these bits more often. I, if you were to front line against these shells, we would have the more nuanced space and we would be able to test these sorts of quirks. For example, if I were to like, front line the hell out of a uh, condo, then that would be so that if they want to go for condo, they would actually have to respond to all these arguments and come with good arguments to test them. This is definitely just change your like, to all their normal arguments. If a shell is good, then it should win, which means that you should be able to win it with the intuitive arguments. Which means that only good shells would win rounds because this creates a better, more, 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 more model theory sort of, instead of disincentivizing people to see in the first place. Uh, uh, many of their arguments, they say the critical thing, but no, they just want to spend just better to meet my, it's just better to meet my interview, or it's better just to meet my interview, they say the critical thing, they say you just know standard, but it's just wrong, second, you can just generate better arguments if you know my, if you know my interest in the first place, if you know the interest in the first place, the fact that you're able to create a functional counter trip, second, the theory is about setting a norm, even if we can, we believe that you know your shows means that we can answer it better, which means that there is sort of constitutional purpose of theory, maybe, maybe critical thinking in the context of like new apps, battling responding to some standard arguments, but in the context of theory, you should, uh, you should be forced to sort of respond to the theoretical sort of forced to, um, to test their norms in the first place. We people should be able to see these arguments first because we have a chance to meet them and uh, have a better substantive debate. Uh, also, uh, yeah, their only other argument is just, just solved by being a good debater. Good debater. If you can't respond to your view, this is just bullshit. This is like true of all theory. You can be sure, sure if you're a better debater, maybe you can like solve for like an infinite, infinite condo, but this is just incoherent sort of nonsense. You should, this is just not an argument. You see the unique as you accept it. One is that this is like solved by competing interests because the fact that you forgetting your interests is not my fault. You should you should be doing you should be remembering these interests. This is literally just saying like, oh, I'm like silly, like which means that you shouldn't be culpable. You are silly, you should be held culpable. You, you should remember your interests. There's definitely no, I mean, also look at the violation, the screenshots are definitely verifiable. And they have a bright counter screenshots, which is definitely close for us. The only thing, they, yeah, that they say that you can misdisclose. This is just bullshit. This is like saying you have to use the wiki and it incentivizes misdisclosure. Not true. Only what's what our interpret justifies that. I can test for our interpret. The integrators must disclose all the interpretations and verify some results of the interpretations that they have broken, which means that, that definitely doesn't matter. You know what? You need to incentivize them to misdisclose. Also, they say there's no way for you to verify it. Yes, there is. People have round reports, i.e., people talk on the circuit, email chains get sent out. When you send the interpets in round or when you tell people, like, indeed, there's definitely community norms that are able to check back. The only thing I have to answer is they're like under the implications, but they say that they, they say that it's infinitely aggressive to disclosure terms. Definitely not. What is that you can see the competing interests that this infinite regress argument definitely goes away because it's just, just making great defense. That's why, oh, there's something better you can disclose. Second is if I'm winning an abuse story, that means it's definitely not infinitely regressive. I've proven why there's sufficient reason why we can't have theoretical engagement, which is definitely outweighed. Second is that this is just not, this is just incoherent. This is just a reason why like theory as writ large might be bad because of the fact that, oh, there's always something better you can do. But yeah, there's always something better you can do, which is why that's considered a normal normal case of which sort of being forced to be able to sort of hold. You have to go to the first place. Also, just reject, reject these sort of 
defensive arguments. It was never implicated offensively, which is it. it should not matter. Also, they didn't. This was like five seconds of the one yard. Which is if you hold the line on the warning. They say they didn't see your email. We've already dealt with that above. The jurisdiction argument. I'm going to double this argument because this is just wrong. One is it's part of our pre round prep. I.e., if I were to sort of incapacitate you from being able to compete pre round, then sort of the round really would be definitely be unfair. We think that that's sort of the pre round. And once I get the pre round, the, there should be some sort of jurisdiction. People check back against that. Second, it's a, it's still a question of our ability to engage in round, which is the judge still has a jurisdiction. I'm making an abuse story for this round, even if something outside the round happened to trigger it. We are still waiting that it's a practice. Also, is that once we have gotten into this round, that you can like even once you've gotten into this round, you still have not proven a violation. I, you never replied to that email, which is there's still a violation at the end of the round. Maybe if you like sent that email at the start of the round or in the middle of the round, then it's fine. But then, like, you send it like you never sent it, which means there's still definitely a violation, in it, which means the abuse story still applies. And I'm also I'm just waiting that normally exactly outweighs because it's part of the which means it, 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 it's a good norm that comes from all of your just jurisdiction offense. Normally, uniquely out with the only thing they can go for is like a hail mary to our own sort of criminal thinking. But normally, definitely always critical thinking is the fact that uh, insofar as we're able to norm better than the criminal thinking, like I'm sort of forces it uh, so always debate under hard circumstances. But if we have like better norms than all of us for equal playing field, because that's the only strong to the fairness where something comes for education, sort of maybe your preference comes for education, when you can access education out elsewhere, because of the fact you have books and, and, and things like that. Second is the fairness, you don't need to be able to access education, i.e., if it runs unfair, you can never be engaged substantially. Uh, second is the third is the third is the fairness, it's a perfect to make sure you're on your RQ, your GQ, your GQ, so which means that if you want to evaluate any of your education claims, you need fairness to, to begin with. Also, just the arguments are like, was it given a fair chance to test them, which means that if you use the, this entirety of this intro, for example, we're never able to engage all the theoretical layer with them, because the fact that they're super shifty, which means that just uh, being absolutely suspect in the entirety of their intro, sort of projected on base value, because just the argument knowing I wasn't able to test them, which means you should just always air negative, always turn it inside with us. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Also, they've conceded, like, they've conceded like, all like, the underneath standards, so that's what we're going to do. why excuse my ability to prepare for norms of frontline theory. These were all independent standards. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, 138 left of prep. Let me open that up. Starting now. Uh, what was the, so, I guess, uh, what is it called? Critical thinking. You said that's true of every theory shall know what they are. What's up? What was the other argument? It was like true of every theory norm or whatever, and then what was the thing? Oh, it was like it's better to be my shell because then we're able to uh, like um generate better arguments and critically think like better. I we have like access to like base of knowledge where we're, otherwise we're going in the dark. Um, and the theory is about setting a norm. Even if we can critically think, uh, knowing your shell means we can answer it better, which has a better theoretical education. Knowing your norm means we can answer it better. Okay, cool. And then oh, we're also just like critical thinking is just bad logic. It's, 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 oh. So what is the crux of your normal argument? Just like you would have known this would have Yeah, it's like a normal argument, which means that one, your norm can't spread to other people, so no one knows to meet your shell. Mm -hmm. um, second, is that we can't be able to like test your shell in the first place, i.e. you can't respond to it, um, because of the fact that we're like, sort of blindsided as opposed to having a chance to meet it. Mm -hmm. um, if we're able to prep it, that allows us to norm better. Uh, the word, honestly, well, the competency and then the shell that he went for. No cards or anything. Uh, are you? Yeah. And the other one. Real quick on the context of NCX, and that Kant confirms because the Schengen Agreement is a uh, promise and it's bad. Why lay like, that promise? All I have to do is be back the uh, shell. I'm going to go top level. If I want reasons why you should reject disclosure theory, it's not uh, sort of a defensive claim, but rather a reason that it's actively bad. And you should reject the arguments in the same way that if you want like reject counterplans offensively, I would there a practically bad norm. And it's a reason that you should not vote on these arguments, especially if I want an internal link. Is why I couldn't respond to these shells. You always struggle they had on them in the first place. First off, it's in the jurisdiction argument. Their response just reasserts what the one and C said, but they've conceded what the one error said against it. Except the that uh, things that occur outside the round are not the judge's jurisdiction, which means even if you really, really hate me and want to vote against it, something you did five minutes before the round, you do not have the jurisdiction to do that, and the uh, violation definitely didn't occur in the round because that's not how a soldier operates. They can see the fact that that is the judge's job. Their only internal link is that, oh, it affects the round, but a point that doesn't respond to the crux of the internal link, i.e., that the judge is not obligated to judge or vote on things that affect the round. Even when you can see that everything uh, marginally affects the round, i.e., if I would have worn a blue shirt yesterday, it would have had an internal link to the round somehow, even if it's mini school, which means that they don't have to leverage it. They haven't made any argument about why there's a certain bright line at which point it affects the round enough. They just conceded the one argument about 
Um, you don't have the ability to do that. Now, here's the big issue. They can see that jurisdiction outweighs everything, and uniquely all the pragmatic reasons, because they can see that even if you really, really want to vote a certain way, if your jurisdiction is not allowed to vote that way, it means that you can not do it. For example, if you sign a contract that said you would only vote on, like, uh, operators or something, and then it's really pragmatic not to vote on operators. You've signed a contract to judge in a certain way, which means you have to evaluate the round that way. You can see that the uniquely that, uh, theory is not jurisdictional. I also going to go to the regress argument. It's uniquely true of this sort of often take over, which means if you don't wholesale reject disclosure shells on this argument, uniquely you should sort of reject their arguments about how normally affects other rounds. You can see the fact that there are infinite things that would have done outside the round that would be better for other rounds, etc. I.e., uh, if I would have had a conference with my wiki for offices, that would have been cool, but that's the reason they should auto lose. Also, they can see the fact that means you can always just read a marginally true shell because there are infinite things outside the round that would be marginally better if I didn't do like a better resource or better resource than how to respond to theory, etc. That would have been better in the uh, first place. It uniquely implicates your arguments and links with your episodes. You arguments. I'm just going to go for a bunch of terms and argue. I'll concede that on the inter the level proper that ways, but you can see all the arguments about jurisdiction, etc. Uh, ways and uh, why uniquely these arguments are bad. I'm going to go for the misdisclosure argument. You've uh, sort of a strong man. You're just like, oh, you're silly, and you should have remembered your interest. But that's not the argument. The argument is that when debaters sort of do not have specific shell written down and they have to accept it, it means that it's imperfect uh, what they're going to disclose on the wiki, which is uniquely bad norm because it means that we're putting the worst things on the wiki. I have already seen your first plus YouTube lab. I don't remember solely what the argument is, and it means that put an incorrect interpret, which is worse in summaries because then debaters will meet the wrong norms, which link turns all of your arguments and uh, control the internal link. Your argument just straw and the only response you had was that. Oh, you should just remember. But also, B point, I'm gonna go for the fact that that's not verifiable because I can just like disclose interpret that is slightly different than one I went for, which is also uniquely bad for arguments about like community norms, etc. But that's not gonna solve. For example, if I disclose a different interpret than the one I read, that's like marginally different, that the community is not going to be able to figure that out. Or it's definitely at the very least not going to be verifiable. I'm also gonna go for the critical thing here. I mean, only response that applies to all theory. No, it uniquely applies to these arguments because I'm just gonna go for the fact that you can see the like, your classroom in circular. I that you're just assuming that you should have extra time to solve my theory norms, but you should not. It's uniquely good for you to be able to think of it. You can see the probability arguments that affects all the rounds. Because when you think really against this app, even if you're starting behind in this round specifically, it means in other rounds you're better at theory, which means you can check any piece of practice. Even if you think that internal link is silly, they can see the way you're going to go like critical to me, always everything. They don't have an internal link detail. Good bit.